Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Carlos. If you are visiting Cleveland tonight, pack your patience. In just about an hour, downtown Cleveland will be packed for the Indians game, a concert, and the queue, as well as an art show on East 4th Street. So, what does it mean if you already use the congested Interbelt Bridge? News Channel 5's Alicia Cicloni is live with ways to get around town tonight. Alicia? Well, Tracy, you can see here behind me right now, it is going okay here on the Interbelt Construction Bridge, but that may not be the case as we get closer to these events. So ODOT officials as well as construction officials told me they want people to know there were some changes overnight. They had to actually close a portion of 90 West for the entire weekend for part of the project, and they are pushing everyone to use those alternate routes that they keep talking about so you can move around a little bit faster, especially for for tonight's events. The Interbelt construction project is in full swing. Kathy Farrell with the design firm for the new Interbelt bridge says overnight on Friday the area went through even more changes than what we saw over the past few days. This is the, the last stage of the preparations to have the downtown section of I-90 have two lanes for eastbound 90 and two lanes for westbound 90. And for this weekend, we closed 90 West for a short, short stretch between the I-77 southbound ramp and the East 9th on-ramp. Then it's I-90 West that's closed. Farrell says they are putting concrete barriers in that spot, so for safety reasons, they had to close that short stretch of 90 until the Monday morning rush. The alternate route, Farrell says, will help get you in and out of town faster during big events, like the concert going on at the queue, the Indians game at Progressive Field, and the art show on East 4th Street. I-90 is, is a side of a triangle. And then I-77 is one leg, and I-490 is the bottom of that triangle. And what we're doing is saying, instead of taking the long side of that triangle, which is I-90, take the two short sides, which are I-77 and I-490. And it takes you right back to the same place on I-90 where 490 comes into it. Officials also want everyone to know that the best bet as we go through this construction over the next couple of years is to leave a little bit early and maybe even stay a little bit later than you normally would just so you're not caught in all of this traffic tie-up. Live in Cleveland, Alicia Ciccoloni, News Channel 5.